Whether it's getting well, staying well, obtaining medical insight, or coordinating care, a primary care doctor is essential for staying on top of your health. Today, meet a doctor who loves how diverse family medicine can be. Dr. Amuzona Amadi is a family medicine obstetrics physician who joined the Woodlawn team in 2023. This is Woodlawn Health Doc Talk, a podcast from Woodlawn Health. I'm Amanda Wild, and I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Amadi. Dr. Amadi, welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you for having me. This is an honor. Well, it's fascinating to me that primary care physicians have to know a lot about a lot of different areas. It's a challenging career path. When did you know that this would be your career path? Well, I like to say family medicine chose me in the sense that initially when I was in medical school, I went through, of course, you go through different specialties in your third year to try to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your medical career. And prior to medical school, I thought maybe in neurology, and then I thought about psychiatry. And then I did my first obstetrics rotation in my third year, and I fell in love with delivering babies and just that whole journey of bringing a child into the world and connecting with the mom. And it's truly, truly something special to witness and be part of. So I decided I wanted to do obstetrics. I wanted to become an OBGYN, but I was more interested in the obstetrics part, not necessarily the the GYN part, which is more women's health and surgery, but I really, really enjoyed the obstetrics part. So I tried to get into an OBGYN specialty for residency, but decided family medicine was a better path for me because I liked the diversity of it. And I liked how you can do a lot of things with family medicine. You can work in the ER, you can do geriatric medicine, you can work in acute care, you can do obstetrics, you can work in sports medicine. So there's a lot of things you can do with family medicine. So that's how I decided on family medicine. It chose me, truly. Well, you've talked a little bit about what you love about what you do and the variety. I was going to ask you, like, what gets you up in the morning? Is there a motivator like that? The possibilities of the people I'm going to meet during my day, be it my colleagues or especially my patients. I tend to do this before the end of the day. I just have a quick glance or quick look at my schedule for the next day. You know, and some patients are very familiar, but they're also new patients with new problems and new questions that I get to meet the next day. And that's exciting because it's fresh, it's new. You know, you're almost setting a clean slate, trying to get to know people. So that's exciting. I think it says a lot about you that what we often called unpredictability, you call possibility. Yes. No, I never looked at it like that. That's, yeah, possibilities. Why did you choose to come to Woodlawn? I'm really proud of Woodlawn in terms of they are one of the few hospitals, rural hospitals around that still offer obstetrics. Okay, like it's sad. The reality is a lot of the rural hospitals are closing down just the obstetrics department for whatever reason, but Woodland has chosen to keep theirs open. And they have this saying that they are the obstetrics oasis in this part of Indiana. So that was actually the big drive for me to come to Woodland. So I love that they offer obstetrics care in a place where it's harder for women to find a place where they can give birth safely. Yeah, can you talk a little more about what is special about rural healthcare with what you do? As a family medicine physician in rural healthcare, it's truly special that you get to, I love that I get to see my patients out and about in the community. They recognize me, I recognize them. And it's this special connection that coming from a place, like I did majority of my medical training in a city, that's not very common. And also you get to do a lot more things as a primary care provider, practicing in a rural community. Because a lot of times the patients can't afford to go to the bigger healthcare facilities to get these done for whatever reason. So being able to offer some services is truly, truly a blessing. Lastly, I want to ask you, because we're having a get to know you conversation, what do you like to do outside of your practice in your free time? It changes. <laughs> I've been asked this question so many times and my hobbies really do change. You know, I have oh. secrets for different things. No, they do. When I first started in medical school, 
I was an avid reader. I loved, loved reading fiction on nervous. And then mm-hmm. that kind of like almost phased away in medical school when I didn't have the time to do that. And I mostly picked up watching soccer. I got really into soccer. Well, I've been really into soccer since when I grew up in Nigeria, but I became a little bit more involved with with watching soccer and getting involved in the whole training process and the teams and managers and things like that. And then I picked up working out and like different varieties from yoga to Pilates to weight training. And cardio is my least favorite, but yes, cardio too, uh, when I feel like. (laughs) And then I start to enjoy, like I value my sleep a lot. I sleep to get energy to get on with my day, but you really enjoy your sleep. I'm like, yes, it's important. So there's that too. That's a great hobby. And I think the importance of sleep is always underestimated. It is. Like I've never heard anyone say sleep is a hobby, but for me, it changes my hobbies. But sometimes I do enjoy a little nap here and there or getting an extended amount of sleep. Well, you have a diversity of interests, just as we began the interview, we were talking about the diversity of care that is required of a primary care doc. And you love that about family medicine. So I can see you live that in your personal life as well. It's interesting how you make these parallels, but I never thought about it that way as well. So thank you. Yes, that is true. (laughs) And thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much, Amanda, for having me. I am truly honored. Thank you. Dr. Amazona Amadi is a family medicine obstetrics physician who joined Woodlawn Health in 2023. For more information, please visit woodlawnhospital.org. Again, that's woodlawnhospital.org. If you found this podcast helpful, please share it on your social media. I'm Amanda Wild. Thanks for listening to Woodlawn Health Talk, a podcast from Woodlawn Health.